Hi everyone, Miss Negron here. Today we're going to be discussing partitioning a line segment. So what does the word partition mean? Partition means to separate or divide. A line segment specifically is a part of a line that is bounded by two distinct endpoints. When you partition a segment, you will be given a specific ratio. A ratio is a relationship between two numbers indicating how many times the first number contains the second. In this video, we will be discussing partitioning methods including using jumps, graphically using slope, and using the partitioning formula. Always begin with the first coordinate point as x1, y1, and the second coordinate point as x2, y2. So let's take a look at the first method. Here we're going to be partitioning with jumps. For example, find the coordinates of P, the point that partitions AB into a 2 to 3 ratio, when A is negative 8, negative 8, and B is 2, 7. So in order to use this method, we first need to determine the number of jumps. The way to determine the number of jumps is by adding the two numbers in the ratio. Here the ratio is 2 to 3, so we're going to add 2 plus 3, which equals to 5. Step 2 is to set up a diagram to represent the situation. So we're going to first draw a box with the first endpoint. Then we're going to draw more boxes to represent the number of jumps. In this case, there are 5 jumps, so we are going to draw 5 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And in this last box, you are going to add your second endpoint. Now we need to determine the pattern, which can be found by getting the difference between the points and dividing that by the number of jumps. So in this case, our x coordinates are 2 and negative 8. So when we subtract them and divide that by 5, which is our number of jumps, we get plus 2 for our x value. Next, we're going to take our y values and do 7 minus negative 8 divided by 5 to give us positive 3, which we will be adding to our y values. This will then give us our next point is negative 6 comma negative 5. Again, add 2 to your x and 3 to your y to get negative 4, negative 2. Again, to get negative 2, 1. One more time to get 0, 4. And then on the last point, we'll get our final end point, which is 2 comma 7. Since we are partitioning in a 2 to 3 ratio, we go 2 jumps from the original point, which in this case is negative 4, negative 2. Therefore, the coordinate of P that partitions AB in a 2 to 3 ratio is the point negative 4, negative 2. Let's now take a look at method 2. Here we are going to partition with slope. So it's the exact same equation, but we are going to start a little differently. First, we're going to look at the slope of the segment. Do not simplify this slope. So to find your slope, you are going to take y2 minus y1 and divide that by x2 minus x1. So slope here without simplifying will be 15 divided by 10. Next, we're going to determine the k value, which is the same thing as taking the first number in the ratio and dividing it by the sum of the numbers in the ratio. So in this case, the first number is 2, and the sum of the numbers in the ratio is 5. So our k value will be 2 divided by 5. We are then going to take this k value and multiply each number in the slope. So 2 fifths times 15 will give you 6, and 2 fifths times 10 will give you 4. You are then going to either count the new slope from point A on the graph, or you can add it x1 and y1. So for here, x1 is negative 8, so negative 8 plus 4, which is our new slope, is going to be negative 4. And then our y value for our first coordinate is also negative 8, so we're going to do negative 8 plus 6 to give us negative 2. Therefore, the coordinate of P that partitions AB in a 2 to 3 ratio is negative 4, negative 2. Let's take a look at the last method, which is partitioning with the formula. So looking at the exact same equation, here we have determine your scale factor K, which we did in the last slide as well. 
So in this case, your k value is 2 fifths. Then we're going to substitute our coordinate points n, k into the partitioning formula. Your partitioning formula here represents your k value getting multiplied by the difference of your x values and then adding to your original x coordinate. Then you're going to do the same thing for the y's. This formula is the exact same process as method two, just in a more concise way. So now we're going to substitute our values for k and our coordinate points. So after doing the substitution, you will type each set into the calculator as seen on the right. So 2 fifths times 2 minus negative 8 plus negative 8 will yield negative 4 as your x coordinate. And for the y's, 2 fifths times 7 minus negative 8, all added to negative 8, will yield negative 2. Therefore, getting your coordinate point as point P that partitions AB in a 2 to 3 ratio as negative 4, negative 2. Thank you for watching my video on partitioning a line segment. Be sure to use any of the three methods to partition a line segment. If you wish to check out any other videos, please check out translations on a figure, rotations, reflections, dilations, compositions, dilations on a linear equation, and area of a figure on a grid.